<clears throat> okay, so thanks everybody. So, again, welcome. Um, top table, glittering <laughs> array of talent, none more so than Jonathan Rogers, <laughs> the Managing Director of Pitch International, um, who's here to talk us through uh, the concept of the business, who between them have won absolutely everything there is to win. Robert Pires, France, <laughs> Arsenal, Lyriel, Aston Villa, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Deco, Porto, Barcelona, Chelsea, Portugal, Carlos Coelho, world champion. Barcelona. Barcelona, oh, Spain. Yeah. <laughs> we, say, we say no more. Okay. And Charles at the end here will help us if we need any uh, little bit of help with translation <laughs> to help Carlos along the way. So if you can uh, be patient with that regard as well. So just to kick us off, Jonathan. Um, Star Sixes, can you just explain to the room why? Uh, what's the concept? Why are we involved with this? Who's involved? Okay, thanks Adrian, and um, good afternoon everyone. Thanks, thanks all for your time today. Um, thank you to our panel of uh, distinguished guests as well for um, uh, attending with us today. Um, Star Sixes is a exciting, dynamic, new uh, competition that we're launching today. Um, it's uh, been created by Pitch International, uh, which I'm the managing director, uh, leading sports marketing agency, and Football Champions Tour is our partner on the project, uh, and Jamie Jarvis is, is in the room somewhere, um, who's their managing director. Um, I think anyone that's been around football uh, for a number of years will have seen the global explosion in popularity, uh, and we in our day job have seen uh, fans appetite for football around the world. Um, there have been uh, lots of opportunities for guys who are just coming out of the game who are world class athletes. You can see them today. These are the generation of footballers who've been professionals all their lives. Um, they're still fit, competitive. Uh, they want to play the game. Um, there have been opportunities for them to do that. There are lots of games around the world, but they're not competitive. Uh, some of them are okay, some of them are not so great. Um, and actually what we think is there is a real space in the market for a competitive event. This will be a six-a-side event, it will be indoor, uh, it's national teams, these guys are going to captain their, their, their nations. Um, the first event launches um, next year at the O2 in July, uh, with ticket sales going on sale later in the year. Um, but what we want to ensure is this is a, uh, an event that when it happens, it's competitive, um, but it's fun. It's an entertainment product, music, lights, rock and roll. Um, and we want to try and capture some of the, the great indoor events like, I guess, the NBA, uh, the ATP tennis, um, and actually give these guys a platform where they can compete, <coughs> they can have some fun, um, and actually give the fans a spectacle. Uh, and the idea is that it's a knockout format that wherever this goes in the world, wherever it lands, it has a consistency of format, sponsors, broadcasters, um, players, teams, um, so that wherever it lands, in whatever town in the world, um, we bring an event, we bring the stars of the game, um, and we build them globally and give them a platform to still show that they are competitive and can perform at the highest level. Thanks, Jonathan. Um, Robert, you still play a lot of football. <laughs> But how, how much will this mean to you to be playing, representing your country again um, but, on a frequent basis? But you know, I, uh, I play the 79, uh, I have 79 caps with my, uh, uh, my country, so it's, it was always a, a privilege and honor <coughs> to play for your country. So um, I think this concept is very, mm -hmm. is very good. Uh, of course, it's for the, the players, they, uh, they are retired. But uh, I think it's good for, for everybody, for the sponsoring, for the fans, uh, because we'll play uh, in London. So, um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a very good, a great idea for, yeah, for everybody here. Yeah. And Deco, how often do you play still? How frequently do you play? I'm playing with some friends, of course, many times. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes we have some games, exhibition games, and I'm still playing. <coughs> And it's different when you play 11 against 11 because the, the pitch is too big. And now this concept I think is, is very good because we are together, we can 
the changes and the game is more exciting for, for the people, I think. And Carlos, you, you've played many games internationally. Um, when players retire, is this something that can give you that adrenaline <laughs> burst that you, you miss from playing professionally all of the time? Perdón, hablaré en, en español, que me expreso mejor. Estoy estudiando inglés, pero todavía no, no me atrevo. Eh, sí, echo de menos eh, muchísimo. Para mí el fútbol es, es mi pasión. He sido muy afortunado porque durante casi 20 años lo he hecho todos los días y en el momento de retirarme fueron momentos complicados y ahora tener esta oportunidad, porque ya tengo la rodilla bien recuperada, vuelvo a entrenar todos los días y volver a disfrutar de hacer deporte es para mí muy importante y... Eh, agradecido por estar aquí y poder ya obtener, tengo muchas ganas ya de que podamos hacer esta, esta competición y, y disfrutar con, con ex compañeros y bueno, al final volver a competir que, que a mí esto me, me gusta mucho. Gracias, uh, I'm very, very happy to be part of this event because uh, I've had the wonderful chance in my life to be playing football during uh, many, many years throughout my career. And unfortunately, when I had to stop uh, once I retired, I didn't have any more this chance. So now I'm very happy to be back on a, on a field in this tournament. Above all, moreover, my uh, knee, which was injured during quite some time now, is getting much better and I can definitely be fit again and I can be back uh, to be participate to this tournament. <coughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Carlos. Right, if we can open up to the floor for some questions, please feel free. If you put your hand up and just introduce yourself, that would probably be a big help for the, for the guys. Robert, so this question for you, my name is Tustic, being with Golf News. You spent some time playing in India. In yes. Yeah. How was that uh, for you as an experience, and how is the game developing as you saw it there? Um, yeah, it's true. Um, I play l during the first uh, Indian Super League uh, with Goa. It was uh, three years ago. So, of course, for for me, it was totally different because it's not the same level like in UK, in France, or in Spain. But um, now I know uh, the Indian players, they love football, um, the people. Of course, in India, when you're talking about sport, the number one is, uh, is cricket. But um, lots of people, they love so much football. I know uh, now this, the Indian people, they start uh, again for the third uh, season. But um, it was, yeah, it was, uh, it was very good, good experience, uh, very good atmosphere. Uh, in the stadium, all all the game, the stadium it was uh, uh, it was full, and of course I meet the new uh, people, new uh, new food. So it was yeah, it was very good, uh, very good experience. Yeah. And what was the level compared to say My divisions here? I mean, it's obviously not Premier League, so where no. League, <laughs> no. Where, where Championship, League One, League Two, in your maybe League One. League one. If I. If, because I don't, I don't like to compare, you know, uh, the team, the players, or uh, the, the other thing. But uh, yeah, I think Premier, uh, the League One yeah, is the same. Yeah, same level. Yeah. Well, you can, you can, yeah, you can make a success in the, in the, in the future. Yeah, because you love football.